All right, guys, here we go. We're on Neptune Road. It's going off. The cop right here on the left-hand side. And we'll see what's going on. And there he goes, pointing behind me now. It's exactly why I took this road. I wanted to show off a little bit of the, the radar ticker because the cops love, love to camp through here because it's only 40 miles an hour. Now I got a K-band hit from in front of me. That's strange. Oh, well. Well, I'll let it roll in case there's more out here, but this is one of those roads they love to sit on all the time and drive back and forth on. And man, as soon as I took that corner, there was one sitting there. I've got a K-band hit. I, I really don't think it's a police officer, but we'll see. It's getting stronger. Because usually, like you saw, they, they like to use KA band here. So that's really strange. Oh, there's a, um, a speed thing right there. We just passed. It's facing in this direction. That's what it is. You can see it's pointing behind us now. Wow, it's just a good day. They're putting out all those little speed towers all over the place. And you can see we're, we're way away from it now, and it's still pointing and it's behind us because the antenna's right here. And I figured I'd go ahead and show it to you. It's still going off. This is how good these detectors are. Sideways, I, I don't get the sideways deal. I mean, if you're looking for literally one of the top end detectors, a Valentine V1 is amazing. Uh, I love, I love, love, love it. That and my Escort. I love the Escort Red Line. Both of them, it's, it really is honestly a toss up. They both are just outstanding. And, uh, yeah, two thumbs up to both of them. You get to see them in act, you got to see it in action that time. I had no idea I was gonna even find a police officer out there. I mean, I just took a corner onto Neptune Road that runs right off of uh, Lake Toho in Kissimmee, Florida. And that's what road we're on right now. And um, I just happened to turn it on right as I, it started to go off. So it's not like, it was going on forever and I finally turned it on. I just took the corner and decided to turn it on. That's when the cop was right there. I was like, oh crap. So anyways, figured I'd go ahead and show you some of that good love and stuff in action. Um, good tips to get. get. Get a good radar detector. I see so many guys who will not buy radar detectors and I don't know why. You just bang your head on a wall and you're like, what the hell are you thinking? And um, I, I don't get it. You know, oh, uh, the cops caught me speeding, man. And you're like, well, you're an idiot then because uh, if you had had a radar, you would have saw it. Or if you would have, on top of that, used a, the Waze app, especially if he was sitting in a corner and he was reported. I, I it would have been pointless for me to re report that the police officer was there when we went by because of um, he wasn't stationary. He was it, it was a moving car, so it would have been pointless for me just to report that. But... You know, it really does, especially the, I see a lot of the, the guys with the disease and stuff like that. I'm like, why don't you have a rare detector? Uh, I don't need one. I, I just speed. You know, if I get hit, I'm like, if you get hit, what the hell does that mean? You just want to keep throwing money away? Yeah, just, it's mind boggling, seriously. I've had radar detectors ever since I was 16 and driving my first car on my own. Uh, they started out with Whistler radar detectors and worked my way up from there. Uh, had everything my friend sold me as Escort 7500. I've had. Uh, escort my red line I have my Valentine V1 and you know just work my way up and but I've always had one in my car because before Waze, Waze was out or any of the online stuff you had to literally you know already be ready for it otherwise cops was gonna nail you you know what I mean so to hear somebody says well I don't need one I'm like oh, okay then that's your you just want to throw money away you spend one time investment on a good high-end detector and within one or two tickets at most, you're going to uh, pay it off. So, oh well. Anywho, just figured I'd share that with you. I'm on my way back to uh, the house right now. I went out to the range today and I'm just gonna cruise on back now. Apparently the motorcycle, cop, motorcycle guy in front of me is a very, very rookie driver because it's 45 if you just saw the speed limit. I'm doing about 33 miles an hour at most. Let's see what Waze says. We're doing 31 miles, 32 miles an hour according to Waze. This is typical Kissimmee drivers right here. Nobody does a speed limit. So, anyways, all right, I showed it to you. And I will uh, cut to the next part because up here I got to make a couple turns to get back to my house is the other speed tower that I have from another video. So, they, they, they just put out this weekend. So, I'm going to go have fun with it too. All right, guys, stay tuned.